You are an FY2 doctor in general practice. Please take a history from Mr. Hussein. Hello. Hi. My name's Dr. Maddock. Um, I've been asked to come in and have a bit of a talk with you, if that's okay. Sure. Yeah? Yes. Uh, can I check your full name and date of birth, please? Yeah, it's uh, Mohammed, Ak Mohammed Akbar Hussain, um, date of birth, 1st of uh, January 1981. Okay. How is it that you like to be addressed? Um, Mohammed Tuck. Mohammed, okay. Um, can you tell me what's brought you in today? It's about my headaches. Um, I've been having them for a while now, and I'm just a bit worried about them. Okay. Um, can you tell me a bit, bit more about it? How long have they been going on for? So, I would say I've had them for 10 years, I would say now, but um, it's just, I was thinking perhaps, do I need a scan or, or something like that? Mm -hmm. um, because uh, they just, I, I was thinking, I read something about, um, you know, just to make sure sometimes you can get tumours that can be mm. um, headaches. So we come across as, you know, someone might come across with headaches and it could be a tumour there, so I'm a bit worried about that. Sure. Is that something that's been concerning you for a while, or...? It has, yeah. Mm. I mean, I did have a, a scan in the beginning, mm. but that was 10 years ago. Okay. So, you know, do I need another one? Uh, well, why don't I gather a bit more information and then we can, okay. we can have a bit more of a think about okay. that. Um, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more about the headache then? So, um, what brings it on? So, often when I've been a bit stressed at work or I've not been sleeping very well, those are the times I've noticed that do bring it on, mm -hmm. especially if you've not been sleeping. Okay, yeah. sure. Um, and is the headache always in the same place? Um, yeah, it's usually on the, on the, on the left side, um, just, just here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the pain itself? So, I mean, it just hurts. Mm. It's it's like a it's like a toothache. It's like it's constantly there, like a, a, a it just comes in waves of, of pain. Mm. Sure. Okay. Um, does it stay in the same place, or does it move around anywhere? No, it's usually just on the on the left side. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, does anything make it better? Um. Well, some painkillers do, um, but. Sometimes if I if I go into a, a dark room or go to sleep, that helps. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, and in terms of things that make it worse, anything you can think of? Um, well, I think if I'm if I'm stressed, um, um, you know, if, if I've not been sleeping very well, I just find it lasts a bit longer. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's usually uh, something that makes it worse. Okay. Did you find you've been stressed a lot recently? Um, work's been busy, but you know, it always is busy, so you know, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I've got targets to meet at work, and, mm. you know, um, there's always, there's, you know, you worry about what's going on at work sometimes, there's, you know, occasionally they have cutbacks and I'm worried, am I going to lose my job, I don't know. Mm, sure, that's something that's concerning you a little bit as well then. Uh, you know, a bit, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, Coming back to the pain, um, if you said zero was no pain and ten was very severe pain, how would you rate the pain? I would, say, I would say about an eight. Mm. Yeah. So quite quite bad. Then. Yeah, when, when I get the headaches, yeah. it is quite bad. Yeah, sure. Um, and, and how often do you get the headaches? Um, I used to get them uh, once a month-ish, uh, but now when I'm a bit more stressed, I get them more frequently. Okay. Uh, but usually, on average, I'd say about once a month. Yeah. Um, do you have any other symptoms associated with a headache? Um, I feel a bit sick when they come on. Um, I get this fuzzy, um, like change in my vision, like fuzzy um, lines in my vision when when it does happen. Okay. Yeah. So just, that's just before okay. the headache comes on. Okay. So that ha happens before, and then the yeah. headache. Yeah. How long does it take? You know, between having that funny feeling and the headache starting. It's about ten minutes, ten and then that, that's when I know that the headaches are going to start, and that's when I know I'm going to get one of these headaches. That I think. Okay, sure. Yeah. Apart from that funny visual feeling that you have, do you have any other problems with your eyes? Any any funny vision at any other times? No, no, no. no. Otherwise, no, I'm okay. No. Yeah. Okay, and you, and you feel sick when you have the yeah. headaches. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you vomit? No. 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 Okay. Um, any other symptoms you can think of that you have when you have the headache? 
No, no, which is usually the, the, the headache, and unless I do something about it, it'll last for you know a day or two. Mm -hmm. um, but then, if, I suppose if I go to sleep, then the headache um, I might be able to sleep it off. But the, the pain is quite bad. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. And it, it, is it better if you're in a dark room when yeah. you have the headache? Yeah. Sure. Um, any problems with your hearing at all? No, no, no. hearing's okay. No. Okay. And any weakness in your arms no. or legs? No. Okay. Um, do you mind if I ask just a little bit about um, any other medical issues? You mentioned about the migraines. Any, any other medical issues long term? No, otherwise fit and well. Otherwise, um, uh, I'm okay. Sure. Yeah. And you mentioned you initially back many years ago when you were first diagnosed yeah. with the migraines, you had a scandal at that yeah. point and yeah. saw a specialist, is that right? Yeah, that was, but that was about 10 years ago. Sure. I had a scan. It was all, I mean, it all came back normal, but mm. do you think I need another scan? Um, well, I think what she was just gather a bit more information and we'll do a quick examination afterwards if that's okay and that'll give us a bit more information um, okay. about whether we think there's anything anything abnormal um, okay. if that's okay yeah yeah, yeah. okay um, going back to so you said no medical issues at all apart no. from the migraines um, are you allergic to any medication no, no no do you take any regular medications no nothing at all um, do you know what, what is it that you take when you have the migraines um, paracetamol um So in this video, we took a headache history from Mohammed, the patient. Um, we used a framework uh, to go through and structure the questions we wanted to ask. Uh, we started with a nice open question and then moved on to Socrates and then went through past medical history and social history and other things as well. You can see the importance of having a framework, but also that ultimately in these stations and in real life, you have to pick up a little bit on what the patient says. So for example, they threw a concern in there and an expectation right at the beginning, and I had to pick up on that, even if it's just briefly, and saying and acknowledging what they're saying, maybe saying a little bit about it, and maybe saying, you know, we'll come back to that later. As long as you pick up on that cue, because we don't know if that cue is going to lead somewhere else, and actually that's the important point of the station. So having the framework allows you to then come back um, and, and ask the specific questions you need. For example, in Socrates, we didn't get everything in the exact right order, but we kind of picked up on what the patient had said and adapted it accordingly. <laughs>